Hare Krishna. Good morning, dear devotees, from Sri Jagannath Puri Dham. These are our daily adventures in Srimad Bhagavatam. And today we're continuing on our journey to Kurukshetra. This is our series of talks we've called Meeting in Kurukshetra. My name is Madhavananda Das. We're number 59. And uh, this is the 12th part of the Brahma Gita from the 47th chapter of the 10th canto of the Bhagavatam with the meeting of Uddhava and the gopis. And today we'll be speaking of text number 11. And there's some very astonishing things in this verse we'd like to share with you. This will offer a few prayers. Gauragraganyagana gota guloduhadam Gauragudatama gopyata kopa bhriksham Gopalagadaratidam Yeti Singh Gora Govinda Deshi Kavaram Satatram Namami Narayanam Namaskritam Naram Shaivan Rotaman Devim Sadasvatim Vyasam Tato Jayam Virayat Vedi Ramayanesh Chaiva Purane Varate Tata Adavante cha madhye cha hari sagatsu gihate Mukam karoti vacha lambangun langayate girim Yet kripa tamaham vande shi gurum dinataranam Paramananda madhavam Paramananda he madhavam Padunga luci makaranda, se makaranda panakodi anande bolo hari hari harinka name vandavela parikodi ve chakadola. Se chaka dolanka paraye manamo rahu nirantare manamo nirantare rahu ha krishna boli jiva jau ha krishna boli jau jiva Mote u dada radha dava Mote u dada radha dava Mote u dada radha dava Om namo bhagavate vasudevaya Om namo bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Good morning, dear devotees from Sri Jagannath Puri Dham. My name is Madhavananda Das. This is our 59th session in the series we're calling The Meeting in Kurukshetra. And we've been focused on the uh, 47th chapter, the 10th canto. This is our 11th, uh, 12th session on that which is uh, the Brahma the meeting of Uddhava and the gopis. And today we're speaking on text number 11, which is a very important verse. Kacha madukadam drishtva jayanti krishna sangamam priya prastapitam dutam kopayit vedam abravit. One of the gopis, while meditating on her previous association with Krishna, saw a honeybee before her and imagined it to be a messenger sent by her beloved. Thus she spoke as follows. So this verse is uh, cited by Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Jiva Goswami, Sanatana Goswami in their commentaries to give some evidence of uh, that it's been spoken by Srimati Radharani. This is a great mystery Although Radharani's name doesn't appear directly in the Bhagavatam, and sometimes some people, they complain, they criticize, 
that how is it that Yugodhya Vaishnavas give so much stress on Radharani, but she's not mentioned in the Bhagavatam. Mm -hmm. In the 11th canto, Krishna, he says that Parokshavada uh, Rishaya Parokshamama Chapriya that it's the nature of the rishis in the Vedic literature is to speak in parokshavad, means indirectly. And he says parokshamama cha priyam, that that parokshavad, that uh, those indirect talks are very, very dear to me. So Radharani's name, although it doesn't appear directly in the Bhagavatam, Sukadev Goswami in Parokshavad is in indirectly, in an indirect way, is given it many, many times. It's said that because Sukadev Goswami was Sri Sukhavacha, he was Sri Sukha, the parrot of Srimati Radharani, as described in the tradition here in, Jag in Bhubaneshwar and Jagannath Puri. The Sukadev Goswami didn't directly mention Radharani's name because if he would have, then he would have gone into Bhav, he would have gone into ecstatic trance for six months, and Maharaj Parikshit only had seven days to hear Srimad Bhagavatam. It wouldn't work. <laughs> so uh, he had to mention Radharani's name in an indirect way. He was so attached to Radharani, he couldn't help but speak about Radharani. And there's a number of different examples cited by our acharyas. Srila Prabhupada writes in his purport to Chaitanya Chaitanya Madhulila chapter 8, text 100, wherein Ramananda Roy, who's speaking to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is the Ramananda Samvad, he quotes the 30th chapter of the 10th canto, text 28, which speaks about the Ras Lila, and the word there is anaradi ana yaradi to nunam bhagavan hara ishvara Yano vihaya govinda prito yam anayadraha. Ana aradito. Aradita means to worship. And this verse is speaking about uh, the discussion, the discussion amongst the gopis after Krishna had left the Raslila and the gopis went searching for him and they found that there were some other gopis' footprints with him. And they said, Oh, Anaya, this. I'm speaking about this other gopi, Anaya, Aradita, this other gopi must have worshipped Krishna in a very nice way, and therefore Krishna took her to a secluded place, Vihaya. Srila yeah. Prabhupada writes in his purport to this verse, he says, the name Radha is derived from this verse of the Bhagavatam, from the words, Anayad Radita, meaning, quote, by her the Lord is worshipped. Prabhupada says, sometimes the critics of Srimad Bhagavatam find it difficult to find Radharani's holy name in that book, but the secret is disclosed here in the word Aradita, from which the name Radha has come. Of course, the name Radharani is directly mentioned in other Puranas. This gopi's worship of Krishna is topmost, and therefore her name is Radha, or the topmost worshiper. Mm -hmm. Similarly, in the 32nd chapter of the 10th canto, in chapter 4, in text 4, Sukadev Goswami says, Kachit karambu jamsura jagrihe nyajalina. Mm -hmm. That one of the gopis, Kachit means one of the gopis, one of them, grabbed Radharani's hand in her folded pants. And Jiva Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, Vishwanath, they, they say that, that Kachit refers to Srimati Radharani. Again, in the 30th chapter of the 10th canto, in text 38, mm -hmm. uh, it said, Evam ukta priyam aha skanda aruhyatam iti tatas chandardate krishna savadar anvatapyata. Mm -hmm. The Krishna, he uh, told his priya, his dear gopi, he said that uh, skanda aruhyatam, just climb onto my shoulders. And then he immediately disappeared. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jiva and Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur in their commentaries, they say that this verse refers to Shimati Radharani in particular. So coming back to our, our verse today, this is uh, an important verse because this is one of the verses through Parokshavad in which Sukadev Goswami directly indicates Shimati Radharani. And this is explained 
by Jiva Goswami elaborately and also by Sanatan Goswami and Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur whose commentaries will just touch on the first word of the verse kachin or kachit hmm? in the Sandhi it becomes kachin because the next word is madhukaram hmm? kachin madhukaram drisva hmm? that one of these gopis kachit refers to Srimati Radharani and to establish that this particular gopi is in fact Radha Jiva Goswami quotes some verses from the Basana Bhashya of the Agni Purana, which also speaks about the meeting of Srimati Radharani with Uddhava in the place known as Uddhava Keri near Tanandagam. So the Agni Purana says, Gopya Praputra Usasi Krishnanucharam Uddhavam Hari Lila Viharamscha Tatraikam Radikam Vina. Radha tad bhava samlina vasanaya viramita sakibi sabyadach chauda vigyaya vigyana guna jimritam ijante vasinam veda charamamsa vibhavanai. That, that day at the time of dawn, the gopis they inquired Krishna. Krishna Nucharam Uddhavam from Uddhava, Krishna's servant Uddhava, they ask about Hari Lila Vaharamsha, they ask about Krishna's pastimes. But Srimati Radharani, who is completely immersed in thoughts of Krishna, all the gopis were asking us, but Tataikam Radhika Vina, Radharani wasn't asking. Because Radha Tabhava Samlina, Radharani was completely absorbed in Bhav. And she uh, withdrew her interest in those talks. And she began to speak up. And Radharani, she began to speak the essence of the Upanishads, the essence of the Vedas. Krishna says in the Gita, Vedascha Vayahameva Vedya, by all the Vedas am I to be known. So to know Krishna is to love Krishna. And Radharani, by her example and words, reveal reveals her supreme love for Krishna. Uh, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur explains that this, again, this, this gopi kachet is the embodiment, he says, of the seventh stage of Krishna Prem, known as Mahabhav. There's different stages of Prem. Sneha Man, Pranaya Rag, Anurag, Bhav, Ruda Mahabhav, Adi Ruda Mahabhav. Uh, Mahabhava is the seventh stage, which has the, the diff, two different divisions, Ruda Mahabhava and Adi Ruda Mahabhava. Uh -huh. And this Kachat, this Gopi, is uh, being referred to, she's the embodiment of the seventh stage of Mahabhava. She's the essence of Krishna's pleasure potency, Hladini Shakti. That's Srimati Radharani. So Radharani, in her meditation, she's thinking now Krishna she's enjoying, she's associating with those ladies of Matura. And uh, she becomes jealous, and this jealous anger, this man, arises within her. So this chapter, the 47th chapter of the 10th canto, and we've been often commenting, is a very important chapter when we want to understand the meeting of Kurukshetra. It's a very important chapter when we want to understand the... Uh, mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because this 47th chapter of the 10th canto indicates the height of Srimati Radharani's ecstasy and separation from Krishna which uh, is the mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so in the Ujjula Nilamani in the 14th chapter on Staibhav uh, Rupa Goswami he describes uh, the symptoms of Dibyon Mada. Dibyon Mada means divine madness. In this 47th chapter of the 10th canto, there are 10 verses which are Chitra Jalpa, or mad raving talks, which are the result of this Dibyon Mada. Dibyon means divine, and Mada means madness. So this is Srimati Radharani's madness and separation from Krishna. So Rupa Goswami defines this Itasha Mohanakasha Gatem Kamapya Payusa Brahma Bha Kapi 
Vai chitri dibyon mara itir yate udguna chitra jalpa adyas tabeda bahavo mata. That when mohana, mohana means bewilderment, when it attains an indescribable state, which is com means complete bewilderment with uh, astonishing vachitya, uh, astonishing vachitya symptoms, dibyon mara itir yate. That's called Dibyon Mada. And Udgurna Chitra Jalpya Das, it has many different forms, such as Udgurna and Chitra Jalpa. So this is important for us to understand. This Chitra Jalpa, this Dibyon Mada is important for us to understand, even though it may seem like a very, very high topic, like a very un, uh, important topic for us, just to, what, what is okay, Srimati Radharani is experiencing this, but rele what relevance does it have to me? Srila Rupa Goswami, in the beginning of his Logo Bhagavatamrita, he describes Sri Chaitanya Makodgirna. He uses the same word, Udgurna. Udgurna means like a volcano erupting or, or a, a kind of vomiting. Udgar, as we say in Bengali. Sri Chaitanya Makodgirna Hare Krishna Tivanaka Madhyayantu Jagat Premi Vijayantu Tadavaya. That Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his mood in distributing the Hare Krishna mantra by which he's saving the whole universe, is Udgurna. This is the mood of Radharani. We're hearing in this 47th chapter of the 10th canto about the Kirtan of Srimati Radharani. That Kirtan of Radharani is the Kirtan of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Kirtan of Radharani is Udgurna. It's a kind of madness which just erupts like a volcano. It's Chitra Jalpa, mad raving talks. Rupa Goswami goes on to define more in the Ujjumila Mani, a few verses later. He defines Chitra Jalpa. Prestasya Sarida Loke Guda Rosa Bujimbita. Buri bhava mayo jalpa yas tivrot kanti tantima. Excessive chatter. We, we use the word chatter when someone is just speaking on and on and on. Like sometimes I, when I was a 17 year old boy, I was living with my grandmother, and my grandmother would just chatter. She would just go on and on and on. And would, oh my God, she wouldn't stop talking. Sometimes old ladies are like that. That excessive chatter which is Guda, Rosa, Rosa means anger, and Guda means something very, very deep, out of some great deep anger which arises, this kind of mad talks, in the presence of a friend of the lover, Buribhava Mayo Jalpasya Tivra Kanti Kantima. That talk which is full of Buribhava, different bobs and things, and finally ends with Tivra Kanti. Uh, Tivrat means very intense, and Kanti means intense longing. That is called Chitra Jalpa. So, Kachit, these symptoms are described in just one amongst these gopis. That gopi is Shimati Radharani. Uh -huh. And Rupa Goswami, uh, excuse me, Jiva Goswami, he describes in his uh, Gopal Champu that what happened that Shimati Radharani, she saw this bumblebee. And uh, she, he, she was thinking that this bumblebee was a messenger from Krishna. Rupa Goswami, again in Ujjal Nilamani, he says that uh, Shayam kunja grihe kva chit vitanute sabasa sajaita nila brandita kandita vevahitis chandi kva chit tarjati adgurnatya bisada sambramavati dhante kva chit darune radha te virago brahma pramatita Date na kamva dasam. Speaking about this verse, he uses this verse of the uh, 47th chapter of the 10th canto. Commenting on this, Rupa Goswami in Ujjalila Mani, indirectly commentating on it, he, he uses this word kvachit in this verse twice. This gopi. Mm -hmm. 
And he says that this, so he's saying that this verse of the 10th canto is indicating that this gopi has become agitated by separation from separate from, from Krishna. And Sayam Kunja Grihe Kochit Vitanate Savasa Sanjayita. She's made some uh, flower bed in a kunj. Huh? But she's feeling like uh, she's been abandoned. And so Dritta Nilam Brahm Dritta Kandita, she says some harsh words to this dark cloud. Huh? And but yearning to meet you, then this person, Kochit, again he says, Kochit meaning Kachik meaning Radharani, staggers out into the darkness. Uh, so this is Srimati Radharani. This is a Gibyon Mada. This is divine madness. We're translating a book now by Krishna Kamal Goswami, who is a friend of Thakur Bhakti Vinod. And the book is called Dibyon Mada. It's a book written in, in the 1800s. It's actually a, a, a drama written in the 1800s, which became extremely popular in West Bengal. And it speaks about the emotions of Srimati Radharani in separation from Krishna. I won't go there today with that book, but we may come back to that at a later point. But this Dibyon Mata is a very, very important thing to understand. Jiva Goswami, in his commentary in this verse of Ujjwalila Mani, he uh, says that uh, this verse uh, spoken by Radharani is not similar, it's, it's different than the speech of the Queens of Dwarka. He, and he quotes this verse from the 10th canto, chapter 90, text 24, where the Queens of Dwarka, they meet a messenger of Krishna. So now Radharani is meeting a messenger of Krishna, as we spoke from the Basana Basha of the uh, Agni Purana, that Srimati Radharani uh, was meeting Uddhava, and she, in her ecstasy, she wasn't saying anything. So in the 10th canto, chapter 90, the queens of Dwarka, their response to this swan messenger of Krishna is given. Hamsa swagatam ashitam pibopayo bhuyanga sore katam dutam tvam navudam akachidajita swastyasta uptam puram Kimvanaschala sori dasmaraditam kasmad bajamo vayam shodra lapaya kamadam shriyam rite so vaika nishta shriyam. The verse describes <laughs> that these uh, queens they welcome, they said, Oh, hey, Swagatam, Hamsa Su Swagatam, welcome to you. Ashidam, please, you come, sit down, have some nice milk. Now, you please tell us, Bruhi Angasuri, please tell us you're, you're very dear, you're like our own body, like our own Angi. Sori Katam, please tell us some pastime, some uh, news of Sori Krishna. You're his messenger. So, is he okay? Is everything going well with him? Does he still remember? Uh, does he still think about us sometimes in that? <laughs> these are the words of, of the queens of Braj. But these are the very, this is very, very different, Jiva Goswami comments, from the words of Srimati Radharani. Because Srimati Radharani's words are Dibyon Mada. They're the height of ecstasy. They're Mahabhav. And the queens in Dwarka, although they're on the platform of praying, they don't come to this Madanaki Mahabhav, this last limit of Madanaki Mahabhav that Srimati Radharani possesses. The symptoms of which are Udgurna and Chitra Jalpa. Srimati Radharani, she's just exploding Udgurna, and she's speaking Chitra Jalpa, very angry, crazy talks. She's speaking. So Jiva Goswami speaks about this in his Gopal Champu. And he says that uh, Radharani, she's describing ayati cha mamanikatam yati cha nunutya maturam nagaram tasmat kashana rama ramayati ramana satatrapi. That uh, Radharani, in her madness, she sees Krishna. And she's thinking that Krishna's coming to me sometimes. And she's saying that Ayati cha mama nikatam. Sometimes my beloved comes very close to me. And then, Yati cha 
Ninutya Mataram Nagaram. Then secretly he goes to Mathura and there in Mathura Tasmat Kashana Rama Ramayati Ramanasa he enjoys with some ladies there. And Radharani is becoming very, very angry. Whereas the, the Mahishis, the queens of Dwarka, when they see the messenger of Krishna, they become very, very soft. And they start uh, glorifying that messenger. But Srimati Radharani in her, in her Dibyon Mada, in her Urdguna, in her madness, she becomes like a volcano. She starts speaking Chitra Jalpa. She starts chastising that uh, messenger from Krishna. Mm -hmm. And she becomes very, very angry. And she sees this bee, and she sees, thinks the bee must be a messenger from Krishna. Another messenger. Matara harita samyan gushchan murdanam adunate tadayan tadiya dutta sputam alir eti shitakuta. Radharani, she's thinking to herself, Jiva Goswami says that, oh, Matara Harita Sanyan. He's coming from Matara, and this fellow's coming and he's humming, he's singing a song, he's shaking his head, he's trying to be very nice to me. He's saying, Oh, you're such a very special person. This is the messenger of Krishna. Huh? She says, Tadayam Tadiya Dutta. It must be the Dutta of Krishna. And he's come here for some specific pers purpose. Huh? And so she's thinking, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to chastise. Tasmat enam pratamata. Pratama means first. First of all, I'm going to chastise this bee. So why are you coming here and acting such a way in front of me? Go away. Huh? You should go to the forest. Leave me alone. Madhupati rasako madhupas. Tom asit you chai pasidam dam. We understand about you. Uh -huh. Your relationship as master and servant is very appropriate because you're the servant of Madhupati. Uh -huh. You're Madhupas, the, the, uh, the bumblebee, one of the names of the bumblebee is Madhupa. He's the, he uh, is always drinking Madhu. And Radharani says, because you're serving this Madhupati, which means now he's the Pati or the Lord of the ladies of Mathura, uh -huh. who's, who's uh, that place. But another meaning is that uh, he's a master of the drunkards. And because you're drunk, you're coming and you're buzzing around, you can't even fly in a straight line. Uh -huh. And therefore, the two of you are famous. You have the Sambandha. Aji, Vyajik, Vakata. Sambandha, Stena, Vamsiddha. You have this con con connection as Sambandha. You're famous because uh, the maintainer and the maintained. Uh -huh. He's maintaining you. Uh -huh. And in this way, he's drinking this alcohol and maintaining you. He's maintaining himself in this by the drinking this alcohol. And Radharani, she's frowning and she's saying, My dear friends, you listen. Hmm? Aho Sakya, listen, my dear friends. This bee, he's acting like he's very sincere hmm? and heartbreak. But actually, this bee is a cheater because it's humming and shaking its head. This is not so astonishing when we think about its master. And Radharani says, Ka kitavanam bandur vigunam kitavatvam ashamishita chalayan apitamsta yaha som satyavyam vida payati. You're the friend of that cheater. You're the bandu. Ya kitavanu bandu. You're the bandu, the friend of that cheater. Why are you coming here like you have a pure heart? Go away. Huh? I'm not a friend of cheaters. You can't cheat me. Uh -huh. so, Radharani is saying all this, and Uddhava is listening with big eyes, thinking, I've never seen anything like this. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Radharani is going on that you're such a cheater. Uh -huh. So I can understand that the friend of a cheater is twice the cheater. Dvigunam. Uh -huh. Dvigunam means twice the qualities. Because you're the friend of a cheater, you have twice the quality of the cheaters. And cheating all kinds of cheaters, he takes help of another cheater. In other words, you're a cheater, and Krishna, he's, he cheats all the cheaters, so he's taking help from a cheater like you. And then Radharani, Jiva Goswami says, Tadevam Samandahasa. Radharani, she thinks from and she, Mandahasa, and she starts to laugh. Vicharayanti, she starts thinking to herself, Nijacharanam, she sees the bee was trying to land on her feet. 
Huh? Because this bee, Sarajis Dia, was thinking that, that it was a lotus flower. And Radharani, she laughs. She says, ha! You're the friend of a cheater. Don't even think to touch one of my feet. Mm -hmm. And my grandma, she comments that, that uh, because your master is a drunkard, you've also become a drunkard. And don't, yeah, you wanting to come and, and try to do some pious chit to try to beg forgiveness from me by touching my feet. But if you touch my feet, then I'm going to become contaminated. So cello, get out from here. So this section of the Bhagavatam is extremely important. A question arises. Why is it that Krishna is called Atmaram? Kalindi Jamunadevi in the Bhagavat Mahatmya, in the Skanda Purana, chapter 2 of the Bhagavat Mahatmya, text 11, Kalindi Devi says, Atmarama Sri Krishna Sya, that, that Krishna is known as Atmaram, Atmaram, Amatmara, Atmarama Sri Krishna Sya, Dhruvam, Atmasti Radhika, Tashadasya Prabhavena, Viraho Sman, Nasam Sviset. Krishna is known as Atmaram because uh, Radharani is his very self. She's the Atma of Krishna. And because Dhruvam, Dhruvam means to be situated or, or firmly fixed, Dhruvam Atmyasti Radhika, because Radharani is fixed as the heart or the self of Krishna. Therefore, Krishna is Atmaram. Mm -hmm. And it's because of that uh, that. Uh, Krishna, he becomes completely mad. Again, uh, Kalindi, some verses later in the same section of the Bhagavad Mahatma, she says, Atma tu radhika tasya tasyaiva ramadada so. Atma ram atmaya pragnai projate guda vedi bi. That radhika, atma tu radhika tasya. Radha is the atma of Krishna, the self of Krishna. And wise persons who understand this, therefore they call Krishna Ramanad. They call him self-satisfied. Because he, he's Atma Ramanaya, because Ramanad is so he takes pleasure. Atma Ramana means to take pleasure in, in the company of Srimati Radharani. So again, why this 47th chapter, the 10th canto, is so important? And what is the connection of this 47th chapter with the meeting in Kurukshetra, and what is the connection of that meeting in Kurukshetra with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? So, Krishna wanted to glorify Srimati Radharani. Krishna says, Yeyatam mam prapadyante tam sataiva bhajamyaham. As someone approaches me, I reciprocate accordingly. But Krishna said, Napadiyaham naravadyasam yajam. I don't know how to repay the gopis, and in particular, Srimati Radharani. I don't know how to do that. So to repay them, he has to glorify them because the gopis are always glorifying Krishna. So to repay the gopis, Krishna has to glorify the gopis. But how can he repay the gopis? The only way he can do that is by showing their mood, by taking on their mood. Because when people see the mood of the gopis, then they can understand their exalted nature. Therefore, uh, without taking shelter of Srimati Radharani. We can't get Krishna. It's described uh, by Dhyan Chandra Goswami in his Gorgavinda Smaranachana Padri, Vina Radha Prasadina Krishna Prapta Nirjayate. Without pleasing Radharani, without getting the mercy of Radharani, you can't get Krishna. It's impossible. Tatashi Radhika Krishna Smarani Yosu Samyato. And therefore we always remember Radha and Krishna together. And what does it mean when he says we remember Radha and Krishna together? That indicates Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this uh, meeting in Kurukshetra is fueled by this Brahma Ragit. This meeting in Kurukshetra is uh, the height of the ecstasy of the uh, Gopikas when they're meeting with Krishna. And they're expressing their feelings, which which came out during this Brahma Gita when Uddhava was sent to meet with the gopis. Again, in, the, in Bhavishyotara Purana, Krishna says, Prema bhakto yadi shraddha, mat prasadam yadi chasi, 
Tada Narada Bhavena Radha Radha Adiko Bhava. He says, uh, Krishna says to Uddhava, so excuse me, to Narad Muni, he says, my dear Narad Muni, he says, if you have faith, prema bhakti yadi shraddha, yadi means if, if you have faith in prema bhakti, and mat prasadam yadi chasi, yadi each, if you want uh, my prasad, my mercy, then tada narada bhavena, radha radha niko bhava, then you become a loving devotee of Srimati Radharani. So this is the significance of this chapter of the 10th canto, this 47th chapter. This is its connection with the Brahma Ragit and with Gora Lila that the word Kachit is indicated in this 11th verse of the 47th chapter indicating Srimati Radharani. That finally Srimati Radharani is being described but she's being described in an indirect way, in Parokshavad. So again and again and again, Krishna describes that if you want to get my mercy, you have to have the mercy of Radharani. In the Narada Purana, Krishna tells Narada Muni again, Satya, listen, the word Satya means truth. The word Satya means vow. And listen to how many times he uses this word. He says, Satyam, Satyam, Punar, Satyam, Satyam, Eva, Puna, Puna, Vinarada Prasadi, Namat Prasadi, Navidyate. Krishna tells Narad Muni, he says that, Satyam, Satyam, Puna, Satyam. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Puna Satyam, again I'm telling you the truth. Satyam, Eva, Puna, Puna. I'm telling you the truth again and again. I'm vowing this again and again and again that Vina Radha Prasadena Mat Prasada Navidyate without the mercy of Radharani you can't get my mercy and therefore Naratam Das Thakur he sings about the glorious mercy of Shimati Radharani Radhika Charana Renu Bhushana Kori Atanu Anayasi Pavigiri Dari Radhi Kacharana Shraje Kori Samaha Shoni Tari Mui Jai Boli Hari. He says that Radhi Kacharana Renu, Bhushana, Bhushana means the ornament, and, and uh, Renu means the dust. Someone who takes the Radhi Kacharana Renu, the dust from Radharani's feet, and they make it their decorations of their body, Anayasi Pabi Giri Dari. Very easily that person gets Giri Dadi Krishna. Radhika Charan Ashraya, Jai Kori Se Mahashoy, Tai Mui Jai Bolihari. I'm always praising that person who's taking shelter of Radharani's lotus feet, that Mahashoy, that great personality. Narottam says, sings. Tara Bhakta Sangi Sada Rasa Lila Prima Kata Jekori Se Pai Ganesha Iha Tevi Mukha Jay Tara Kabu Siddhi Nai Nahi Jay No Suni Tara Na He says that anybody Tara Bhakta Sangi Sada who's always associating with the devotees of Radharani and Rasha, Rasha Leela Prema Kata, not Rasa Leela, but Rasa Leela, speaking about the Rasa, Rasa, Rasa filled pastimes of Srimati Radharani, the Prema Kata of Radharani's, her love. J. Kori Se Pai Ganeshan, that person will get Ganeshan Krishna. But Ihate Vimukha J, if anybody's Vimuk, they're not interested in that, then Tara Kabu Siddhi Nai, they won't get that perfection. Nahi Jaina Suni Tata Nam. We don't even want to hear the name of such people. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see their face. We don't want to hear the names of such personalities. <laughs> Krishna Nama Gani Pai, Radhika Charana Pai, Radha Nama Gana Krishna Chandra. Sangshepe Kohinu Kata Bucha Monera Bhyata Dukha Moya Anya Kata Ganda. He says, therefore, we have this bhajan pranali. Krishna nama gana pai, radhika charna pai. We chant Krishna's name. Because if we chant Krishna's name, then we're going to get the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. 
and Radha Nama Gana Krishna Chandra. By chanting Radharani's name, then Krishna comes around. We get that. He says, this is the message I have for you. Dukkha moya anyakata danda. Just give up any other thought. Don't bother speaking about the pandemic controversies or, or, or uh, how there's this and that uh, conspiracy. All those other topics are dukkamoy. They're just going to cause you all kinds of suffering. Don't speak about any other thing. So we should understand the nature of Srimati Radharani. And Radharani's nature is described in the fourth chapter of the Adi Lila Chaitanya Charitamrita. Kaviraj Goswami describes the words of Sri of Krishna. Ei prema dwari nitya radika ekali amara madhurya mita ashvadei sakali That only Radharani, Radhika ekali, only Radharani, on the strength of her love, only she is able to taste completely the nectar of my sweetness. So no one knew anything about this until Krishna sent Uddhava. And Krishna is sending Uddhava for several reasons. One reason he's sending Uddhava is to uh, bring Uddhava to a higher platform. But another reason he's sending Uddhava is so that people can understand something about the glories of Srimati Radharani. At the end of each day of Brahma, the end of each Kalpa, Dwarpa Yuga, uh, uh, Krishna descends to this earth. In the following Kali Yuga, Brajendra Nandan, he assumes the mood and complexion of Radharani and he descends to Nabadweep to fulfill these three desires that he couldn't fulfill in Brajli and Dwarpa Yuga and he becomes Gaurasunga. So this Gauranga Mahaprabhu, his kirtan is a mirror of the emotions of Srimati Radharani's kirtan. And we hear about this again in the fourth chapter of the Adi Lila and how important this 47th chapter of the 10th canto is to understand how important the single word kachit meaning that gopi how important that is that this verse is describing now the dibyon mata the divine madness of Srimati Radharani because that dibyon mata of Srimati Radharani that madness of hers is the feelings of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Kaviraj Goswami describes this. Radhikara bhava jai chi udhava dashani sehi bhava mata prabhu rahi ratri dini The just as Radharani, Radhikara bhava jai chi udhava dashani just as sehi bhava mata prabhu, she became mad seeing udhava. So in the same way, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was experiencing the same mood of Srimati Radharani in that in that Brahma Ragit when she met with Uddhava. Because Radhikara Bhava Murti Prabhur Antara Sehi Bhave Sukha Dukha Ute Niranta Shina Lilaya Prabhu Krishna Vira Umada Brahma Moya Chastakara Palapa Moya He says that the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the mirror of the emotions of Srimati Radharani. And therefore, say Bhava Sukha Dukhe Ute Nirantara, there's always feelings of pleasure and pain in the, in, in, in the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in the Sesha Leela, or in the final pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna Viraha Unmada. He, be, he developed this unmada, unmadana, that Srimati Radharani had developed, this divine madness, this dibyonmada. And he started doing his pralap, or this chitra japa, this mad talks, just as Srimati Radharani was speaking. And therefore, Prabodhananda Sarasvati, he described, yata yata gora padara vende, that someone who's very, very fortunate, they may get the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
Because as much as we can devote our attention to Mahaprabhu's feet, as much as we can serve Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to that same extent, we'll be able to taste the service of Srimati Radharani in Vrindavan. This is the purpose of this 47th chapter, the 10th canto. Sukadeva Goswami, he can't speak Radharani's name directly because he's Sri Shuk, he's the parrot of Radha. And as I mentioned, if he would have said the Radharani's name, he would have fallen into Bhav for many months. And uh, Maharaj Pariksit only had seven days to hear the Bhagavatam. So indirectly, he gives the name of Radharani in several different places. So he's giving this 47th chapter to glorify Srimati Radharani. Kachit, this particular gopi, who has this unmad and this dibyonmad, this divine madness, which has two symptoms, Rupa Goswami says, Udbruna, which is like a volcano and is full of chitra jalpa, mad raving talks. Uh, to glorify Srimati Radharani, he speaks this, but still, this was covered, this was hidden, and we couldn't understand it. And therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associate, Basu Ghosh, he sings. Jagagora naho ito tabe ki ahito kemoni dadi tande Radha Rama hima prema rasa singha jagate janato ke Jadi gora naho ite tabe ki hoito kemoni dadi tande If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not appeared, tabe ki then what would have happened? How would we be able to maintain these bodies that we have? Because without Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming, Radhara Mahima Prema Resa Sema Jagate Jani Toke, we wouldn't have been able to understand the Prema Resa Singha, the last limit of love of Srimati Radharani. We wouldn't be able to understand that Mahabhav, huh, which is expressed in this Chitra Jalpa. Uh, in, in uh, ten different verses, we'll hear in this forty-seventh chapter of the tenth canto. Basu Ghosh goes on to sing. Madhura Vrinda, Bipina Madhuri, Pravesha Chaturi Sa. Bara Jajivati, Bave Bahakati, Sakati Yohoi Toka. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not come, and opened the lock, uh, that box which contained, that lock box which contained the hidden love of Srimati Radharani, which was indirectly described by Sukadeva Goswami in this 47th chapter, the 10th canto. But unless Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would have come and taken on the mood of Radharani, then who would have been able to understand? Uh, who would have had the power if it wasn't by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Uh, then who would have been able to enter the prabesh, the, the chaturi sar, that uh, to understand the essence of the love of the Braj gopis? Who would have been able to understand the purpose of Krishna sending uh, Uddhava to Braj? And therefore, Basu Ghosh describes. Eba vasagare, e mona doyala, nade kia e kajana. Therefore, he says, Gao, Gao, Puna, Gorangera, Guna. Again and again, you glorify Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because without glorifying Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can't understand Radharani. Vasagosa Sarla Kori Laman. You keep your heart very simple. You be Sarla. Keep your money, your mind, your heart very, very simple. Be very, very focused on this because Ebhava Sagare Emina Doya and in this ocean of material existence, no one has ever seen Nadekiya Eka Jan, such Emona Doya, such a person with such mercy as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ami Goran Boliya Nagina Galiya Kemone Dari. Vasuhiya, Vasana Diya, Kemoda Gadiya Yache. 
and Basu Gosh is crying. I'm Goranga Bolia, even though I'm calling out the name of Goranga Mahaprabhu. Naginu Gailia, my heart's not melting. Came on a day. Huh? Huh? He's saying that, that why have I maintained the burden of this body then? Basu uh -huh. the heart of Basu Gosh, Pasanadia, it's like a stone causing so much pain. Kemoni huh? Gaija, why is a creator created a heart like this? So this 47th chapter of the 10th canto is so important for the followers of Garanga Mahaprabhu because this 47th chapter is the, the, the thing which precedes Gora Lila. And we want to hear about the meeting of Uddhava with Kachit, that particular gopi. And we in particular we want to hear about these topics from the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because it's said, Sri Radhikaya Karunat Tatsaki Sangitam Iyat Tatsakinam Chakripaya Yosit Angam Avapnuyat That by the mercy of Radharani, we want that mercy of Radharani, and what, what does it mean to get that mercy of Radharani? By the mercy of Radharani, Sri Radhikaya Karunyat by the mercy of Radha, Tatsaki Sangatim Iyat, we get the association of Radharani's Saki Gana. We get the association of Radharani's Sakis or Gopis. Huh? And then what is the fruit of that of the mercy of that Saki Gana? Tatsaki Nam Chakripaya, Yosid Angam Avapnuyat. You'll take birth as a young girl in Braj. Huh? So we want to get that mercy of Radharani. How do we get that mercy of Radharani? By glorifying, by doing kirtan of Krishna that pleases Srimati Radharani. And how do we please Krishna? By hearing about Kachit, this particular gopi, by hearing about this Dibyon Mada of Srimati Radharani, and particularly hearing about it through the followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like Basu Ghosh. Because if we do this, then we will get the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we'll get the mercy of Srimati Radharani. And by that mercy, we'll get association with these uh, intimate associates of Srimati Radharani, her Saki Gana, which means the intimate associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And by their mercy, Saki Nam Chakripaya Yosit Angam Avapnayat, one can take birth as a young girl in Braj. So I'm going to stop there. These are some very confidential high topics. Uh, <laughs> very difficult things to understand. And I want to uh, thank all the devotees who have been listening in today. And if anybody has any reflections, any comments, please you can type them in. Uh, thank you, Aparesh Bosh Prabhu, Brajabhanita who's there, and Naveen Prabhu, Hare Krishna. And Brajabhanita has given a question, how do we understand this mood of Radharani, which is full of anger, loving, and love? What is this rage and fury? It's a very, very difficult to understand, thing to understand, and it's not possible for us to understand it. Krishna saw that nobody could understand it. So he took uh, his dear devotee Uddhava, and he sent him to Vrindavan to enter the school of Srimati Radharani. And that's Mathura meets Vrindavan. That's Mathura meeting Vrindavan because Uddhava is the topmost devotee in Mathura. So Krishna wanting to, to raise the consciousness not just of Uddhava but also all the devotees of Mathura, he sends him to the school of Srimati Radharani. And he hears this 47th chapter of the 10th canto, this Brahma Gita. We hear about the mad raving talks of Srimati Radharani. But Jiva Goswami says th these things, we, who can understand these things? The only way to understand these things is by the mercy of the devotees of Srimati Radharani, which indicates the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Only by meditating on the, the bhav, the mood of Sri, of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, can we understand the mood of Srimati Radharani. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Does anybody else have any reflections or comments? You go ahead and type them in quickly, otherwise we'll finish. Anybody here in the room with anything can go ahead, otherwise we'll, we'll go ahead and stop. And we'll be back again next week. And we want to hear about these talks that Srimati Radharani has. So it's starting off cut at this gopi is saying, this gopi is speaking to this bumblebee. And we've heard a little bit from Jiva Goswami 
we'll hear some more things from our Guru Maharaj and Matura Meets Vrindavan and from some different literatures of what Srimati Radharani is saying to that bumblebee and how important it is to understand this section of the Bhagavatam to understand Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I love the Krishna Kuhn has some reflection to share. This is just one Love. sentence. It's such a high topic. I, I can't, I, I can't even open my mouth. But uh, I really like the uh, explanation of the Atmarama, the meaning of Atmarama that uh, Krishna takes pleasure in the um, company of Shrimati Radharani, and Shrimati Radharani is fixed as his Atma, and that's why he is called Atmarama. And because the devotees of Krishna are fixed on the heart of Krishna, they're also Atmarama. And therefore, Atmarama Shamuna Yo, this very important verse is given, which speaks about Shukadeva Goswami and how Shukadeva Goswami w was, uh, he was completely Atmarama because he's a devotee of Shimati Radharani. Because Krishna says, Vina Radha Prasadi, no Mat Prasadi Krishna. So you can't, without the mercy of Radha, you can't get my mercy. Without being a devotee of Radharani, you can't get my mercy. Without uh, having uh, Radharani as your heart and soul, you can't get the mercy of Krishna. And therefore, the devotees of Radharani, the devotees of Krishna, Radha Krishna, they're also Atmaranas. So we'll go ahead and stop there. Grantana Shimad Bhagavatam Kijai, Srila Prabhupada Kijai. Go pray manandi hari hari bo, vancha kopa